entertainment journalist, Devin Simone. Yeah. What is that? Wendy, it is out. It is out. Mel B's book is coming out, and it is titled Brutally Honest. And it really is. Her book is brutally honest. Now, you've talked about the divorce several times here, right? Like, yes. it's kind of all out there, but she's getting into the real tea, starting with the fact that he has over 64 sex tapes filmed of them with um, threesomes. With threesomes. He always insisted, insisted a woman. He always insisted that as a woman, which she said she didn't mind initially, but then she said it got old and tired. There were even times where she said she didn't realize she was being filmed. She claims that there were times she woke up in pools of vomit and couldn't remember what happened the night before. Now, he claims that she knew about the tapes, and he even has tapes where she's looking into the camera, but we don't know. There are other times where we talk, he, she talks about how he took her money. So imagine this, X Factor, she's getting paid bank, right? She amassed a $100 million fortune during her time between Spice Girls, X Factor, all the other things she's done. That girl has $936 in her bank account now. How do you go from $100 million to having less money than me? When you're with a scavenger? When you're with the step, she talked about with the X Factor, so there was one point she needed her bank account codes for them to be able to deposit the money. Right. She couldn't find them, couldn't find them. By the time I don't she... understand how you relinquish power. Right. Girls. Girls. Right. What happened? Right. This is a cautionary tale. Like, I can't even feel sorry because I can't even feel sorry. And she was with him for 12 years? She was with him for 12 years. They got married after months after meeting. She was pregnant when he first met her. Like, this is... With Eddie Murphy's baby. Exactly. And she claims Eddie Murphy in the book was the love of her life, which Eddie is, like, not even claiming her. So I feel like... But tell, tell what she said about Eddie in the book. She said that they were going to move into a house together, that he absolutely loved her, and that she wanted to move away from the staff. Not a house. They, she wanted a whole separate household. Exactly. She wanted a separate, because they were living with, like, staff and all of that stuff under one roof. So right. she wanted privacy. And Eddie's like, uh, what? Right. I'm Eddie Murphy. Exactly. So then she went away to London thinking that he would come after her. Nope. Not only did he not come after her, he then wanted a paternity test to see if the child was his. Wow. See, I don't feel bad. This is all a cautionary tale. Talk about her drug use, because she talked about it. So she talked about how she used to only function off cocaine, to the point that she would snort lines first thing in the morning, get to X Factor set, do X Factor, and the minute she walked off stage, she would snort lines again. <laughs> I, I can't. And then she talked about, too, so here's the thing, Wendy. So then it got so bad, and she was in such a low place. A, her daughter knew about it. Her daughter's talking about he's it 19, He's 19 years old now, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So she's talking about it in the book. And then she also talks about how she did a suicide attempt just days before the X Factor finale. She took 200 pills, and she, she said by the time she took the 200th pill, she realized she didn't want to die. So she started trying to get out of the room, but she had locked herself in there. The door had jammed. So she got bruises all over her body <laughs> trying to get out and then went on the X Factor two days later with the bruises How do you lock yourself in your room? You need my handyman. Right? <laughs> right? Right? What? And so, and here's, but here's the thing, Wendy, and this, I mean, it is a cautionary tale, ladies. You have to choose your partners wisely. Like, as a relationship coach and a matchmaker, let me tell you, choose your partners wisely. But here's the thing that's a little off. So she went and did the X Factor finale. She told her stylist she wanted the bruises to show because she wanted to be clear and make a statement to her then husband that like, I'm over, you know, this is the end. So she didn't wear her wedding ring. She chose an outfit where her bruises were showing. Um, and you can tell there she doesn't look in her best, you know, understandably doesn't look her best self. But here's the thing. She didn't wear lashes. Now, we know that on TV, though, like, did she have a fractured lash? I feel like she was trying to get the sympathy vote. Like, she was doing a little extra to try and make a scene about it rather than just being honest. Listen, this is, this is about, you know, when you get married, you want to make your man feel like a man. But if you have something of anything to yourself, do not relinquish your power. You've got to keep your eye on everything going, even if it's 50-50. Right. I'm not saying you have to be the boss. Right. All I'm saying is you don't have your account numbers. Right. You have no idea where your money is. Right. You don't know how to get out of your room. Right. You don't, you don't, you don't see the red dot when he's filming you, right. know, you with girls. Right. I don't feel bad. Right. I don't right. feel bad. Right. So now they're battling over custody of... The, the little girl of Madison. 
I thought it was Angel. No, so it, go, it goes, um, Madison's the youngest. So Angel's with Eddie Murphy, and then Phoenix is the one with her previous husband. Okay. So with they are they have joint custody with Madison, because here's the thing now. So she has to pay his legal fees, which is hundreds of thousand dollars. She has to pay him five thousand dollars a month. And also her nanny, not the one she was accused of having threesomes with, who's suing her, but another nanny who quit, right? Another nanny claims that she had a drinking problem and sent in pictures of tequila boxes lying stacked up in her kitchen um, that were drunk supposedly just by her. So she had to submit to these alcohol tests regularly to now have joint custody with the baby. Um, I believe every word. Yeah. Steven is denying everything. Yeah. Can I, I had a friend that worked at X Factor, and years ago we used to talk about this, and she said that all the partners of the host were great and kind, but she said there was something off about Stephen Belafonte, that he was very controlling. I mean, and this is when Mel B was still making it seem that everything's great, and Coming I love my husband, shot. but she said something was off about him, and this was years ago, so I definitely believe it. Thank you. You always deliver the goods. <laughs> Devin Simone, everybody. For more information about these stories, go to wendyshow.com. Hot Topics Sound Off is next.